Hello, today is January 23rd, 2016. My last call said that for the rally to keep on going, we would have to have a gap over Thursday's high, which is what happened. During the day, MJT gave a buy. It said that the move was immediate, which it was. The rally would be strong, which it was. The target's been hit. These numbers have already printed. Without any new MJT targets, we have to rely on other stuff. Well, here's a rally all day long without us being able to close over the middle of the day high. Unless we have a gap over this high, it is negative. However, when you rally like this on a Friday all day long, after a gap almost always, the rally will continue. So I think the odds favor a gap over Friday's high. I should point out that even though we could not close over that middle of the day high, we did have a close over all these prior lows. That's extremely positive unless we get down on Monday. So we have a high likelihood of a gap opening Monday. I think the odds strongly favor that being up. Now if we gap up, how high will we go? Well, here's where we called for a bottom. We had the cup with handle, the diamond on stilts, and the target was hit. But the target isn't a stop and reverse level. It's a target. Now, it's no secret that I've said that the high of the move is, is in, and it's going to last years, but that doesn't mean we're going to drop in a straight line. If we have a gap up, here's your still. Here's your still. This is really a diamond here. If you take uh, the height of the diamond, we have targets in uh, the middle 1950s and in the 2040s. I know that seems kind of high, but let's not forget, I've said this line's going to be hit at some time. That's in the 1950s. I've said this line should be hit. That's a bit higher than the 2040s, but I still want it to print. We have the makings of a major low here, as we said at the time, with the largest true range of the drop and the volume spike and a trader Vic to be bottom. Here is your weekly chart. Here's your TDST line. We have support from the TDST line, which goes to just under the line, a bar. If you look over here, we have a reversal formation involving the lower band when it's flat. If it stays flat, it doesn't always stay flat, but if it stays flat, we should have a challenge of the one up on top here, the upper band. If you look at some other stuff, here's your non-confirmation at the low. Here's the percentage of stocks with positive charts. Although we hit new lows, this didn't hit a new low and it started to go up. Here's the new highs versus new lows. Even though we've had a huge sell-off, we had um, new highs versus new lows in positive territory. That means that was a selling climax. And the new highs have just, the new lows have completely dried up. Even though I think um, this is a market drop that's going to last years, it doesn't mean we're going to drop in a straight line. All we have to do is have a gap up Monday, which I think 
is extremely likely and we have all the makings of a huge rally into the middle 1900s and then the middle, two, the middle 2000s and that is today's call.